go. We're going to be live. We are live. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Skip Happens. I know everybody's kind of getting in the groove. It's cool. Got a great one for you tonight. I think almost every week we have a great one. A lot of so much great talent out there. Um, to these uh, individuals, I'll tell you right now, I do not know. The other two, I do from being in the business. Um, anyways, we're going to get right to it. We're going to find out what they're all about tonight. We have 615 Collective, and uh, there's a little bit of a delay, so maybe if I talk slower. <laughs> you get it. Hello, guys. How are you? Hey, Skip. Hey, how are you, how are you Skip? Doing well. It's good to see you. Now we have uh, Nicole, correct? Oh, it must be not much of a delay right now. I like that. And we have, uh, of course, Michael. We got Nicole Witt and Michael Logan. Is that correct? Now, those are the two I don't know. And then on the other half, on the other side of the screen, I got There's Aaron us. Goodvin, who is... Uh, you know, don't know. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Aaron is... Uh, I met him in Nashville a few years back. Uh, he's been on my Skip Happens podcast. He's done a lot as, uh, you know, doing his own thing. And he's a big star in Canada. I know that. I know that. You've been Huge. out. Been about Huge. Huge. <laughs> Can't Very, even go you know, if, Your sleeves do not match of how big of a star you are in Canada. And That's right. Then, my, sleeves, my sleeves are looking very – I didn't really notice it until we got on the call. And then I'm like, why are my arms so long? Did my you – um, is that Sarah's T-shirt or something? Yeah, yes. he bar- he's been bar- – he- I've been trying to dress him in the band. So well, uh, I, good luck, Sarah. I take blame. She's now, um, you're going to like this. Uh, that is Sarah Darling. And if you've been a country music fan for a while, you know she's put out several albums. She's – written for a lot of people just like all of you have done that and uh sarah it, it's just so good to see you now you're all together as one and yes. it's called 615 collective and are you still doing your individual projects or is this the new thing yes we're all solo acts and we're all very selfish still so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely true i love it i no, love it we- we, we all do um, our solo careers yeah. as well, but this is really fun because when we go on stage together as the collective, it's just a, it's just a fun band situation. And it reminds me, uh, my favorite artist of all time is Tom Petty. And, oh, yeah. um, you know, I think about the Traveling Wilburys and it just has mm-hmm. that kind of fun feel. Like mm-hmm. when we all get on stage and we, we kind of sing on each other's songs and harmonize and it's, so- it's cool. How would you describe what you do? Because you say you're a fan of Tom Petty, and of course that's kind of over here, but then we're doing country and then maybe a little bit of bluegrass. I think Nicole's got some bluegrass roots, right? Well, yeah, so I've written a couple of bluegrass songs, and uh, my grandparents were grassers, um, but I don't really do uh, bluegrass. I I have written a couple of songs that way, I suppose, but the band is very country, uh, Mm -hmm. Americana, Mm -hmm. and... um, yeah, it's just been a blast to do this together. Um, and, and you got Michael right over there who's kind of staring in the camera. But uh, <laughs> it's like, I, I, I love this. No, I love this. I, look, I love this. I <laughs> <laughs> it's like, do you really need me here? But no, so <laughs> this. I try not to talk over everybody. So. Now, you know what? It's going to be a little bit hard if we have a delay, but you know what? We're going to make it work. That's what we do. And if anybody talks over somebody, it's probably going to be me and not intentionally. And I always, I'm one of those that doesn't know when to stop talking. So, mm-hmm. me too. Okay. All right. Good. See, I stopped for a second. <laughs> but uh, this whole 615 collective is the brainchild of you, Nicole. Is that, were you the one that actually said, let's do this? Yeah, I uh, started dreaming about this uh, in 2020, and yeah, the band started in 2021, and uh, it's it's definitely, it's been a fun ride. I mean, these guys are amazing, and it's just, it, it's so fun to do this together, but it, like, collectively, uh, mm-hmm. all of us on stage together, it's a little bit like a, like a super group, because it's like everyone kind of does... Um, their own thing and it's very like character driven so i feel like there's some there's somebody for everybody out there like uh, you know in in the audience um Mm -hmm. so yeah and you know we write music um we have written two records full of 615 music and then we do we play some of the songs that we've um 
gotten cut on other artists. And then we also play, um, you know, each other's like solo stuff in a collective oh, wow. sort of way. So, yeah, that's cool. What a good, what a really cool idea when you think about it. It's something, it's different. It's unique. I mean, the yeah. way you do it. Yeah. I think, I think one of the coolest things is like, you know, as a, you know, we're all very good at what we do, you know, and, mm -hmm. and that's very clear. And there's, there's the nicest thing is like none of us have the ego at all. And we all, we, as a, as a solo artist, you get to like sit back and go like, Oh, I get to watch, you know, Michael do his thing or Sarah do her thing. And just like, you're kind of like on stage, but you're a spectator and you get to be a part of it. So it's like, it's a really nice change from being just like the solo act that has to have it, you know, all together and carry the whole show. And, and so it's like, it's really cool to just be able to step back and have, a friend play a song and then to be able to collaborate with them. So it is, it's literally like, it, it's so unique in that, you know, we're all very successful at, you know, what we do on our own, but then we come together and it's like, it feels like it's even more successful in Excellent. a way, if that makes any sense. So. Yeah, it does. And, and Michael and I have known each other for, for years now and we've mm -hmm. toured Europe together. And so it's really cool that there's some cool backstories to us all being friends. And uh -huh. yeah, Michael and I toured all over. Well, you uh, did the uh, C to C, right? If I yeah, remember, Sarah, you guys, you went over. I know you were there. Mm -hmm. uh, did the whole group go and do like C to C this year? And did you get a chance to do that as one? No, we did not do C to C this year. I've done it um, a few different times um, over the years, but um, we did not do it. But I, that is a goal of ours to definitely get over to to C to C. I think it'd be really cool. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, that everybody I talk to that has had that opportunity, just you know, they can't talk about it enough. It's just it's a experience. I think everybody needs needs to have. What about you, Michael? You're a multi platinum singer songwriter, and, and you've my God, I, I was reading your bio, people you've written songs for. And can you tell us a little bit about who you've written for? I'll let you do it. And uh, along those roads, lines. Sure, sure. Um, well, yeah. Uh, well, thank you. That's kind of you to say that, man. Um, I guess uh, Kelly Clarkson is, is somebody that mm -hmm. probably would be the most, uh, something people are the most familiar with. Um, she recorded a song called... Um, you're breaking your own heart on on her album Stronger, which was mm -hmm. awesome and, and life changing kind of a thing. But uh, but yeah, I've, I've uh, I think Nicole and I actually met through co-writing, um, you know, years ago. And Nashville's just a collaborative town. It's it's one of yeah. the beautiful things about it. Um, and so over the years, I've I've just gotten to write for friends of mine. I mean, like Matt Carney and Johnny Lang, Mark Broussard, and folks like oh, that. Oh jeez, yeah. Um, and uh, and then just a lot of film and TV kind of stuff. But I, I, I love the challenge of, of writing across genres and that kind of thing. Yeah. Is this like starting over for you, though? Because you being who you are and at that level, you know, a platinum selling singer songwriter. And now you're like doing the radio tour again. And same thing for Sarah. <laughs> I mean, even Aaron's been through this. But uh now it's like, okay, we're going back out on a radio tour. We got to get up at 6 a.m. We got to be on the morning shows. We have to do this. We have to do that. Who's buying the coffee? Who's buying breakfast? Where are we going? Right, right. Yeah, it doesn't, I mean, that's that's a great question, but it, it really doesn't feel like starting over. I think just, mm -hmm. it's just a, a unique thing for all of us. Yeah. Like we still all are doing our own, you know, tours. And, sure. and like I just this past week was doing some solo shows. We all have solo tours. So to me, this feels like a, a just a really fun, uh, collaborative thing, an extension. Yeah. <laughs> Nicole, how many instruments do you play? Uh, I play guitar, piano, and uh, fiddle. So. Wow. Is it hard to to be able to do all those? I mean, I'm just a radio guy. I push buttons yes. on the computer <laughs> it's screen. Extremely hard. Um, it's but extremely the hard. I'm always a, I'm always like in awe of. Uh, Nicole will like play a song on guitar and then she'll, and then, and then she does, she does that well. And then she grabs the fiddle and then I, you just like, cause there's always that thing where it's like, Oh, you play a lot of instruments, but how well do you play them? You know, mm -hmm. like, you know, and she just crushes on the fiddle. It oh, is so much fun to watch. 
you know, I was um, trying to think, was it Runaway June? Um, is it Natalie? No. Natalie. 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 Love Natalie. Oh, she my loves. God. Yeah, we, um, amazing. we hung out in Nashville at CRS for a little bit. And I know you guys were there as well. And But we also had her in the uh, Northeast here in Syracuse. And we did a show with them. And to watch her on that fiddle is just oh, she's amazing. Incredible. Yeah, she's amazing. So and I'm sure you're incredible, too. I just It just amazes me that you can do that. Just we amazing. love those girls. And I love like getting fiddle on my on my number one hits in Canada because I don't have them up there. So when mm -hmm. Nicole picks up the fiddle and we go into Boy Like Me, I'm like, oh, this is awesome. It's just like a, <laughs> it's like a whole nother way to like a whole nother treatment for the song and it still works. And it's so cool. And that's like the coolest part about this whole thing is like even if you've heard like these songs that we've written for other people, you're going to hear the way that we do it, yeah. mm -hmm. which is so much cooler. Like just, and yeah. it just is like, there's no, there's no other way to put it. It's just way cooler to hear it the way we do it. Then, you know, that's um, one thing I really enjoy about the songwriters is you always hear the final project and the song could be sent to somebody else, given to somebody else, sold to somebody else or whatever. But when you hear the actual songwriters play the song, it just means so much more. I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just. No, totally. totally. And, you know, if, for example, CRS, if we go to Acoustic Alley and we watch, you know, you see all the, the songwriters like yourself up there and you go, wow, that's that's the real deal. Right. Right. There. Yeah. That's where it came from. Mm -hmm. And then. Absolutely. You, and, and look at Sarah over there. I mean, how many, what, five albums? You've put a full, five full-length albums, six? I have. I have been doing music a long time. Yes, I know <laughs> that. Let me put it I'm this way. I'm not going to tell you how old I am. And but we're I'm so glad. Well, we're so well glad. either way, I got you beat. So I'm just saying. <laughs> but I know that for a fact. But, but putting out five, five or what, five or six full-length albums. Uh, you've had the singles. You've been on country radio. You've been on tour. You've done it all. And here again, just like with Michael, it's, it's now you're doing this. I mean, how do you feel about that? I love it. It's, yeah. you know, in, as a musician, I, I feel like, you know, we, we do it because we love it. Mm -hmm. um, and there's something really cool about collaboration that just re-inspires you um, in a new way. And I, I, I love what I'm doing solo as well. And I have an album coming out this year. Uh, it's very like kind of Laurel Canyon country okay. influence. Um, love it. And, and that's really cool. And I have that going on. And then like I bring that into what we do and it's, you know, and it's just really, really fun. And it's, it's more about the inspiration for me. I think as I get older, I'm like, I just want to enjoy music mm -hmm. and it's really much more fun to tour with your friends than to be by yourself or yeah. it's just more fun. It just reminds me when I like think of bands back in the sixties and seventies, like they were all hanging out together and like making oh. magic. And I feel like mm -hmm. we're kind of doing that. honing in on whatever that is um, as well. Totally. How many? Yeah. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say it's, it's like we spent, like, I, I know what you're getting at. Like there, there are grueling parts to the job and, mm -hmm. and, but the one thing is, is like if you're doing it, and this is a rule for like me, if I'm if I'm going out there and playing, and as long as I'm hanging out with the people that I would normally hang out with anyway and want to be around, mm -hmm. and and I'm traveling, like yeah, my ass hurts <laughs> sitting in the back of a van for twelve hours. You know, yeah, I've sat yeah, in this yeah. seat in any possible way that you could sit in a seat. Yeah, I've had yeah, my back yeah. on the ground. I've done it all. <laughs> So, but it's like if you're with people that you yeah. love and you just like they let you be you and you're just hanging out and you're just a part of something, it's so like, like it doesn't really get any better than that, you this know. Like, there's yeah. like it's 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 a hard thing to explain. Like, yeah, if you're on the road with five people you hate, it gets old really quick. Mm -hmm. Um, but this group is just so you know, um, it's just so it's so nice to be, have friends and have support and have, mm -hmm. and we're, everybody plays each other, their new songs and they're coming. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that's really frigging great. And then, you know, like even on the six, one, five records, like we, like I, I got to cut a song on this new record that I don't know if it would have been on my record, you know, right, right. but it was perfect for a six, one, five thing, but I don't know if it was perfect for what I was trying to do. Sure. So what's really cool about that is like, now I've got another Avenue for my yeah. songs and everybody has another Avenue for maybe a song that they weren't like, Oh, I don't know if this really fits me, but I love it and I want to do something with it. So it's just like, it just brings more opportunity all, all of our ways. And like, 
one of the coolest things is like, I mean, I mean, quite honestly, we could have a festival where Aaron Goodwin, Michael Logan, Sarah Darling, and Nicole would play, and then 615 headlines the damn thing. <laughs> you know, so it works for us. Right? We, yeah. we're, you know, we get the awesome. group discount on that, yeah. too. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, exactly. Right, right. It's just a really great, it's a really cool thing. And it's yeah, all about who you're hanging out with. Yeah. You know? yeah. I get it. Sarah, how many times have you been on the Grand Ole Opry? Do I've you know? On, I have been on the Grand Ole Opry 90 97 times. I, I actually forgot if it was 97 or 98. Um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't <laughs> yeah. matter. Right. Once you hit 95, you stop counting. I, yeah. Uh, I, my first um, appearance was in 2012. And um, my grand, my grandfather was in the audience. Um, it was a really, oh. really special thing. He, he passed away, but that was his dream was to actually, um, that was, that was a big deal in my, yeah. my yeah. household growing up. It was like, you've made it if you've played the Opry. And that was a, probably mm -hmm. one of the greatest moments of my, of my life in mm -hmm. country music. Oh my God. And grandpa got to see it. He got to see it. And, and Ben skill was his favorite artist. And he was on that night. And he introduced me and asked oh. me to sing, go rest high in the mountain what? with him. Yeah. Oh and I, was my like, this is, I was like, this is yeah. God. Like, or it, it just, oh, it was so amazing. beautiful. And I was like, you know what? That is like amazing. That's incredible. Oh, oh my yeah. God. I've never oh. cried on my podcast. I know. I'm like getting a little sappy over here too. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Sarah, that is so cool. I'm sure you what can see all my chill bumps. <laughs> yeah. I can, actually, I see the tan lines. I've been washed too many uh, times. All the real estate. And it's <laughs> all coming up. My whole arm. Chill bumps everywhere. I can. Yeah. Wow. I know. I get the goosebumps. I get the chick. I call them chicken noodles. Chicken, chicken noodles. noodles. Chicken noodles. <laughs> I like that. Yep. Something a little bit different. Uh, so what about you, Michael? I mean, have you been able to play that big stage or because of what you do? Have you been on the Opry at all or no? I haven't. I've been on that. I've actually played on that stage, but not for the uh, for the Grand Ole Opry. It was for I gotcha. an event. Um, but it, but the, I've gotten to play the Ryman, which was uh, incredible. Oh, the Ryman. Oh, my yeah. God. The Mother Church. The one yeah. right, right downtown. That is just I get goosebumps every time I walk in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a spiritual experience, that place, for sure. Mm -hmm. So d tell me a little bit more about the music from 615 Collective. So yeah. all of you are together. Are you, you've you put out a little bit of a, well, not a little bit. You put out a song. Right? Well, hang on a minute. Let me, let me, this is why it's called Skip Happens, because I just kind of <laughs> deviate every once in a while. And I kind of, oh, now I can't find it here. Hang on, hang on. But you're driving a truck. Somebody's driving a truck. Yeah. We know which song that is. Yeah. Yeah, yep. yep. I was gonna play a little bit of it here, but I guess I can't get it up. Hang on, I just had it up. Damn it! Sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Aaron. <laughs> hey man, it's not the happens. ice. Skip you know, happens. Uh, skip happens, and it's not the ice sight. That's not the first thing to go. Um, <laughs> just saying. See, the skip happens, but uh, yeah. So, as a group, uh, let all right. Let me ask you this while I'm waiting yeah. for that, Aaron. When you go back to Canada, do you take these uh, fine folks with you? Do you have I they did. done shows with you? I haven't then? yet, and no? uh, but it, honestly, it's something that is like in the works. Like, um, you know, like what's really cool is as a um, like, um, I've had an incredible career up there and um, play a lot of shows and. This, this band like has a lot of really really cool stuff going on and it's not really stuff that like we're ready to talk about but mm -hmm. i think it's like because this thing has come together in such an organic way it's like a lot about this shouldn't work at all you know mm -hmm. when you bring like how many other times have they put together bands that they're like oh we're gonna take all these singers and we're gonna put them together and it's gonna be great and they all just end up hating each other or whatever it is well, this all came together so organically that there's like something in the DNA of it that's like it just none of it just works and and there's no there's no oh. real rhyme or reason. So it's like one of the things that like we've been kind of navigating is like this feels like it's going to another level without us even really doing anything. And we've all tried very hard in our you know in our careers to to be as big as we could be. And it's like. And then we come together and we get all these opportunities kind of fall into our lap. And it's just like a lot of magical stuff. So we've got a lot of great things going on. So like that, those are conversations that like we're starting to have now. It's like, how can we leverage, you know, Aaron's career in Canada to get 615 to go up and do shows maybe while I'm already on a festival or whatever. It's like a, 
another chance to kind of like yeah get, yeah get everybody up there and open get, up those doors know, and and go totally. for it. yeah and i honestly think that that could be a, a really cool path for us so now this may be a really dumb question which i have a tendency to ask every so often <laughs> um but 615 collective now uh, 615 is the area code of nashville yeah. and then the collective is just you guys coming together we're yeah. the collection Yes, we're the collection, the collective, <laughs> the, collective. the collaborative, the, yes. All right, listen. Listen. <laughs> so good. I'm just going to play a little clip of it. And in his rearview mirror, his angel waves goodbye. She knows he's got to go. She knows he's one of them. So that is that's the single that's been dropped, right? I mean, officially yes. being sent to radio by Grassroots, correct? Yes. Correct. Yeah, yeah. So good, so good. Who's the uh, who's the driver there banging the drumsticks on the steering wheel? That's pretty cool. It's our yeah, drummer. that's our drummer Jeremy Spray, and he's a big part of what we do as well. And uh, mm -hmm. so, yeah. Cool. Now, is is there a um, a meaning behind that song? Did I read that there's some truck drivers in the family or yeah. something along those lines? Yeah. So that's a song that um, I wrote a, a while ago and my dad worked for Roadway Express okay. for 32 years and Michael's dad worked for Gottwalls Trucking for 15. Oh, wow. And uh, so it's something that George Strait cut a mm -hmm. while back and uh, but we've kind of done our own rendition and it's kind of become a bit of an anthem for us. We, you know, it's, you know, we're not truck drivers, but we spend a lot of time on the road. And so that kind of open, open road, the freedom of the open road and, and uh, that whole thing that that's kind of us. So it, it feels very, very us. And uh, it was kind of cool because the guy that's kind of making uh, that electric uh, really work on that track, this guy, Nathan Ketterly, he played all over Jelly Roll stuff and whatever. Oh. He really kind of I think um, figured out like the sound of like a real sound that like a, a rig, a, a semi would make. And uh, so I love that track. And that's cool. Yeah. That's super cool. Yeah. It is super cool. Absolutely. Sarah hit it right. It's super cool. Super cool. Super cool, <laughs> cool baby. Yeah, super dude. cool. It is. Absolutely. It's neat. You guys, um, <laughs> you, you, now you're on a radio tour, right? Yeah. Super neat. Uh, yeah. You're on a radio tour. So where are you? You told us before you went on the air. Where are you right now? We're in Paducah, Kentucky. Paducah. 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 Yeah. Paducah. How do you say it? Paducah. 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 In Kentucky. Okay. I got you. So yeah. how many We're currently radios? in the lobby of a Homewood Suites. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Shout I out call, to Billy. Shout out to Billy at Homewood Suites because I called him on the phone earlier and I said, listen, I'm a Hilton Diamond members. I don't have a room. Can we just come and use the lobby? Because that's when we we're gonna have to do the podcast. So and he was like, Oh, are you kidding me? Come on. That's cool, man. He, yeah, gave, nice. us the, he gave us the Wi-Fi password and everything. Yeah, are, super sweet. Just, oh wow. Until you get the bill when you check out in the morning and you see all the incidentals <laughs> on there, it's like, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This internet at 45 bucks a night. That's crazy. Right. Yeah. Right. What right. is that? Yeah. <laughs> it's nuts. Do you guys ever like play pranks on each other? Well, well, uh, here's, here's okay. even better. Here's Coming from the mean. experienced one over here. Go ahead, uh, Sam. This is good. Here's what I'm going to say. Oh, okay. Man. Let more, less <laughs> than pranks, we've created different characters that have entered. And I, I would like you to introduce you to <laughs> Billy Bo Bennett. Hi, I'm Billy Bo. How are you? Nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Bo, it's a pleasure. Billy Bo Bennett is a... Um, is a is is like the crazy uncle that tells jokes and then explains why the joke is funny and then laughs and everybody else has to, everybody else has to laugh because yeah, because he's unfortunately, laughing. Unfortunately, Skip Billy Bo, um, kind of we were stuck in a van with Billy Bo for like 
28 hours. It was a long trip. Over the weekend. It was a long trip. It a was, real Billy Bo. It yeah. was a really Billy Bo, Bo pretty much the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Billy oh. Bo in the room with us now. Billy, Billy Bo. Bo. He shows up from time to time. You know, you got to be patient. He only comes Probably out. talking about me. Um, <laughs> no, no, I'm not that bad. What Do you have a character, Natalie? Or is it just a Billy Bo with Aaron? Well, I don't really have a like a character, but I feel like we're gonna we're gonna make these as mm -hmm. you know they're, they're they're gonna like surface. I think as as time goes, as time goes, I, as time goes. I feel it. Like, okay, Nikhil, 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 are she's so dry. She has such a dry sense of humor, mm -hmm. and so does Michael. Michael has a good. <laughs> Good voice. Sometimes it might not come out today. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Michael once referred to a um, ho hotel lobby as something that stinks like the inside of a fake leg. And it's a movie quote, though. Uh, oh, I can't, I can't, I, yeah. Like, what movie was that? Fake leg. Michael, I, do you I, remember what movie that was? Uh, Anchorman. 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 Oh, yeah, I, can't, okay. I can't take credit for it. I think That's more okay. than pranks, we have inside jokes, right? Yeah. That's what yeah. happens from touring. It's like, yeah, no, I know, I know. And I know. We, we hold on to them. We use them constantly. Yeah. They stay yeah. in. They stay Perfect. in cycle. I would, I would say that I'm more. They make fun of me because I, they, they tell me I need to buy streamers for the stage and roll, <laughs> roller skates, and I'm a, I'm like the hippie of the group. So she's a hippie. Wow. Like we've, we've, we've thought about like handing out like complimentary 615 gummies <laughs> about 35 minutes before the show. Why not? And then about right at the He's right like, time. It's a brilliant idea. Sarah's gonna it is a brilliant in. idea. I got a bag of them in my office. She's going to be all Laurel Canyoned up. Yeah, and, and I'll just I'll have the streamers. And, and everybody will be like, this is and I'll have the <laughs> This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the whole We're kidding. Don't do drugs, kids. No, well, the gummies are, you know, if you be, those are fine if you're okay. Yeah, I mean, if you go easy. If you go easy, yeah. I mean, I've never done it, so I wouldn't know. Uh huh. Well, I could tell you a story. You want to? You want to hear? Is it about me? I, mean, it's <laughs> I, I can tell you. I mean, this is a conversation. This is skip happens. We find out about the artist. We find out who you are, what you're doing, where you're going, and all that good stuff. But there's also the fact that we're real people. And we all, you know, it's just, we do a lot of crazy things. Well, yeah. uh, a few weeks ago, well, now I guess it was over the holidays, had some time off and I went down to a place called Flintstone. It's legal here. They okay. have, a, the place is really cool. I went in and I said, you know, I want something just going to kind of take the edge off of life, make me feel good, make me feel creative because yeah. I, yeah. Love, I love to write. I write okay. commercials. I do all that. Uh, I love doing that. So the guy's like, well, you want something that's going to keep you awake? And really, I said, he goes, this bag and this bag, you take your pick. I said, I'll take them both. So I took them both. He goes, I'm going to warn you. He says, if you've never done this, just do a little gummy at a time. Just right. cut off a little piece, whatever. Well, I cut it in half and I ate half of it. There's <laughs> a little more and a little piece. I'm watching television. <laughs> and about an hour went by. And all of a sudden, I felt like I'd been hit by a truck. <laughs> I thought I was having a stroke. Yeah. I thought something was this going like on. sounds like a horrible. This is a horrible. Dude, thing. dude, now, mind you, you know, I watch those stupid court shows where, you know, somebody, you know, whatever, judge, whoever. And um, the credits were going up the screen. I couldn't watch the screen. Because oh. the credits were moving. I have, an 85, I have an 85-inch flat screen in the family room. So the credits, I go, I can't watch this. I go, oh, my God, what's wrong? So my wife works from home. She was upstairs. Right. I could barely walk up the stairs. She goes, what's wrong with you? I go, either I'm shit-faced or I'm having a stroke. Or she goes, <laughs> did you? She goes, you didn't take. I said, I did. <laughs> and that night, I had a show to go do, a Christmas show. That's when it was. It was at uh, a theater here in Syracuse. I had to be the MC for the show. And I'm going, oh, my God, I can't go. I can't do this. I don't know what I'm going to oh, no. do. But it took about five or six hours, and it wore off, and I was okay by the by showtime. But it's just an experience that, you know, was laughing. Oh, oh. 
My son just chimed in. That oh. Said, oh, hey, Zachary. Oh, Zachary. Hey. Mom upstairs entertainment. <laughs> Mom upstairs entertainment. <laughs> and what, wait, wait, I'm sorry. He says, uh, hi, girls. Look at me. Love you, babe. Skip very, but oh, my son is Down syndrome. Oh, He's no way. He's oh, 23. Sweet. His name's Zach, of course. And hey, Zach. Uh, oh, hey, Zach. Zach. Have a seat, buddy. We do a podcast called Zach Attack with Dad. That's a whole nother oh, subject. Let's that's get that's back sweet. to 615 Collective. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's yeah. Amazing. So, that um, what? So, that what sounds we got- crazy, man. Like, this is why I don't do that stuff because I just don't do it. You don't need that. You're no, already high on life. <laughs> you, you know what? I am high on life. I, I'm high on life. You should be high on life. Yeah. This is, I love doing this. What we're doing right here, I'm talking to you guys. I love the format. I love the music. I, lo- you know, this is what I love. It's a two way street. Yeah. You know, I work the radio side of it, and it's people like you that give us the great music to play that makes us who we are. So, which is, oh, in- thank man, you. That means a lot cool. to us. That's awesome. Yeah. So, we got to, we've got the new song out. And is there going to be an album in the works of 615 Collective or what's the deal? Yes, for sure. We have uh, an EP this fall coming out uh, called Music City. So I love it. it. Okay. And uh, I will say this. I know and Aaron already knows, um, you know, being involved with Grassroots with Nancy, that whole gang is just phenomenal. I tell that to everybody. If you're going to be with anybody, that's who you need to be with, you know, and. You know, yeah, just Nancy's been my manager for it's going on seven years. Which yes, is, that's right. I think that our says a lot because I, yeah, that's amazing because I'm hard to get along with. You know, I'm <laughs> somehow I don't think that's that, true. If I make it seven years in this band, <laughs> that'd be amazing. <laughs> Sarah can give you some pointers. Every every night I pray that they don't. <laughs> <me out. laughs> so y'all travel together. You're in the van. You're hitting up radio stations. Who's doing most of the driving? Uh, uh, we try to split it up pretty yeah. yeah. I gotta say, Nicole is a Nick, rock star, though. Yeah, Nicole, Nicole's, Nicole's like our rock, really. Yeah, yeah. and I'll, I'll throw this out there too. Like this, this band was really Nicole's vision, right? And she's the one that reached out to us yeah. and kind of put the whole thing together. Came up with the name. So credit where credit is due. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. wouldn't be here without Nicole. Nicole. Yeah, Nicole. 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 <laughs> Nicole. 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 Hey, so um, he's, he's in- <laughs> you didn't know each other until 2021. No, no, oh, we, no. Yeah, no, we knew each other before. We, okay. we wrote right. like I, 2018, 20 something. Yeah, that, yeah. Oh, okay. We started writing, and then um, I didn't like I knew of. Uh, Sarah and I didn't really know Michael until like we went out on the first show and then mm-hmm. we've been BFFs ever since. We started writing BFFs 12, ago. 12 years ago, probably. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, wow. Sarah and I. That's the crazy yeah, thing about Nashville is like well. we all live, we've all lived there. We've all had our own little circles of people. Right. Like, right. Right with them, and then you get in this group where you don't really even know two of the other people, and it's like everybody's so great and so talented at what they do and it's like Mm -hmm. it's so that's the best part about nashville is like i like just last year i found like one of my new favorite co-writers i've been in that town for 12 years so it's like how did how did i not meet this Mm. person before you know like right it's crazy it's really that actually just happened to me too right it's like how have have we not been friends for 10 years writing really yeah it's crazy you know when you think about it and you know more than i do i guess about this that um you know, there there are so many songwriters in Nashville. I mean, there's yeah, everybody's a songwriter. Mm-hmm. Everybody wants to be a, an artist. Everybody wants, you know, that's why they're there. So yeah. it's got to be kind of difficult to find the right person. Mm-hmm. Difficult so- and and also so cool. Like yeah, it's how do you like? It's just cra- the depth of that city. Mm-hmm. Like the depth mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. crazy. A lot of dreamers per square inch. Yes. Yes. yes my you God. got it. You got yeah. it. Uh, let me tell I'd you. Love... Go ahead. I'm going to tell you something about Michael. Michael is, I feel like, our, he's like our wise sage, sage, like wizard owl. <laughs> 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 I've never heard the owl part. <laughs> he's not. 
like, so he doesn't know the owl part. I'm, like, I'm, free, I'm freestyling right now. I love wisdom. Yeah, but so, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take no, it. he comes up with those lines. No, oh, just, oh. like he like has lines and songs that I'm like, yeah. Like I never could write anything that deep and introspective. You're just so great. Mm. And like up it's on so stage, like when I hear him sing, I'm just like, wow. Like it's just he has a song called "Let It Be Love" that just yeah, you it's, know, it's one of the greatest songs I've ever heard. Yeah, one of the best wow. songs I've ever heard. Yeah. Wow, like, so amazing, amazing. The owl. <laughs> the, the owl. owl. The owl. The owl. <laughs> Anybody that's watching this, I mean, you, and if you're just watching this now, I mean, take a look at the screen in front of you. Those are some of the most talented people you're ever going to see, and the the people that maybe have written some songs that you already know. Um, Look at you got Aaron, you got Michael, you got Nicole, you got Sarah. I mean, just wow. Oh, and thank you. Thank you so much. Just you know, you're doing what you love. We and, are. Oh, 100%. You know, I mean, it, it makes it easy. Is there one? Well, you said Nicole is pretty much the rock of the group, right? Yep. Yep. So everybody else is like, you call her mom or? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Oh, she's that person. I do. Like, I do she, like she, she, she could pull anything out yeah, of her. Smoked almonds. Yeah. She's like got the, almonds. Like the other day, we were like right after our show, we played North Carolina on Saturday night. Mm -hmm. And um, we get we get out of the show and I'm like, man, and, and uh, Ryan playing bass, he goes, man, I would love if we could get some snacks. And um and I was like, oh, snacks sound great, right? We're like, oh, let's go, let's go out and get some snacks. And Nicole's like, well, I have a power bar. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, because that's exactly what everybody wants when it's they're a done a show. Bar. It's a power bar. Give me, can I get a protein bar? You know, do you have an apple? You know, how about some boiled eggs? That's what I'm really into. Right no, I want chips and chocolate I and need sweets. <laughs> and she's like, well, I have a power bar. Yeah, trying to keep everybody healthy. Yeah. Healthy, healthy. Healthy, you know? Well, you got to eat healthy. You yeah. do. You don't don't take care of yourself. And these hours, I'm sure you got to be up early in the morning to hit the road and be somewhere. So yeah. Oh, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. It's morning shows mostly that you're on, correct? Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Most of the time, yeah. 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 I mean, we get we kind of do them all day when we do them, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, know, but. you have to learn how to take care of yourself and mm -hmm. balance mm -hmm. yourself on the road. And I work out a lot, so, like, yeah. that's something I find... And so does Nicole. So I'll see her in the gym a lot at the hotels. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Where are you at? Yeah, where, where are you, you at? at? You, know, <laughs> the, you know where those vending machines are? Yeah, where yeah. they put the little indents in the wall so you can just eat. I love yeah. it. My wife is the same way. She'd be in the gym and uh, I'd be back in the hotel room drinking coffee, watching TV or something. Yeah, so. right. Mm -hmm. I always like, to, when I first get to a hotel, I like to find out where the gym is so I know where to feel guilty for not going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, That's amazing. I'll, I'm a frequent hot tubber. I love a good hot tub on the road. All right. As long as it's clean. I don't really You don't know who's been sitting in that hot mean. tub. Hey, you skip. Yes, when you so don't I'm know, don't you hurt you. I'm with you. Well, you that is true. You don't know if there was a kid. That is true. You know, these, these are like the secrets of those that are on the road as an artist right here. It's all coming out tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Cool. Yep. That's cool. Yep. That's cool. Now, how long before you'll be back in Nashville? Uh, tonight. We're driving no, we'll, back. We'll drive back tonight. Oh, okay. It's not too far. No, because you're in wherever in Kentucky right Paducah. now. Paducah. 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 There's actually a, we might stay in town. There's a quilt show this week. <laughs> um, and we all really enjoy the knit. So. I'm really into crochets. Yeah. Yeah. Well. yeah. We're kidding. There is a quilt. I did, right you now. noticed I wasn't saying a word because I didn't know what to say. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's like, like I'm speechless. Like, I hope no, no. It's like, are they serious or are they just trying to? We're into quilts. You're into quilts. Yeah. Pleasure. One square at a time. <laughs> you just said quilty pleasure. Oh, he's oh he's a wild Michael, wild. listen to yeah. Michael just said that. See? There's a quilt wizard owl. Yep. He's a wizard owl. Yep. A wizard owl. <laughs> there you go. You know, um, look, if somebody wanted to look you up, of course, you guys got the website going. You got all that going. It's uh, what what is the website? Nicole? Uh, six, yeah, 615 Collective. So it's and it's all spelled out. So it's S A X O O N E 615Collective.com. And why did you do that? Why did you spell it out? Well, because six I like it. 
So. Yeah, no, 615 um, Collective, I think when I looked, the URL with the number was already taken. So oh. um, I just got the, the spelled out version. So, But we have a lot of people that uh, on posters and all sorts of stuff, they, you know, they use the numbers and that's going to, I have a doing business as, so that, that works too. So. I gotcha. You got a DBA. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. I got you. And uh, all the music is up there as well. And uh, yeah. any shows that you might have coming up. Uh, we have lots of shows. Lots yeah. of shows yeah. Do you play down on, I uh, hate to say it, Broadway at all? Not really. Yeah. We don't. Not really. We're, we're touring out okay. most of the time. So I was The reason I was asking you because anybody and everybody's got a bar down there now. Oh, yeah, yeah. they do. I'm just saying, and a lot of the artists are playing in the bars, those bars. I was just wondering if you were down there at all. Yeah. And, uh, I, yeah, I, I mean, it's one of the, have. Uh, yeah, we have before, like yeah, I think like, all of us, but I think yeah. like as the collective we have, and it would have to be the right thing for us to go down there and want to do it, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, it's been great chatting with you. I love the music. Uh, expect to hear a whole lot more. I know uh, now, now that, you know, and Sarah's on, and of course, Michael, some of yeah, and Aaron and Nicole. It's just the talent, the songwriting, the music. I mean, it's the best. It really Thank is. Thank you so much. Thank it's you so, so much. Nice. Yeah, we appreciate you, buddy. And, and I highly recommend anybody checking this out. You need to go all online. Go to 61collective.com. Was it? 615collective.com. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Spell it out. Spell it out. Go there. Spell it out. Spell it out. Spell it out. They, they got to, they, they, I'm sure they got to either get to the gym or get to bed because they got an early morning. I know. I get you. One of the two. Do you, um, two. have you guys ever been in the Northeast at all? So we're coming in yes. August. We have a seven or eight day run up there. And, really? But we're not playing in Syracuse. Um, yeah, so we should. I've played in Syracuse. For you have. What is it? Funkin' Waffles? Oh my God. Yes. Yes. You're up on the uh, university. Okay, I cool. wonder if that could be cool. Maybe. Yeah. Well, we also, with the radio station that I program, um, we do a lot of what we call the uh, the 92.1 The Wolf What's Next Private Listener Showcase. Okay. And uh, it's it's a lot of new artists. It's a lot of well-established artists. It's uh, pretty much an acoustic setting, or but we can yeah. do whatever. Um, That's amazing. We have a great venue for that, built-in stage. Uh, the guy gives you all the pizza you want, wings, and it's just great. We have a great relationship. And uh, if you're in the area, we're, we're going to have to do something. That would be awesome. I would, awesome. Love, I would, would love, love that. that. That would be so fun. Yeah, absolutely. That. Absolutely. So that when you said that's in August, do you know yeah. where? Yeah, that's in Off August. the top of your head or no? Probably uh, not. I think we'll leave out like August the 2nd or 3rd, and it's through August the 11th. So. Okay, I'll, I'll look it up. I'll look it up. And, yeah. uh I can let somebody know at grassroots, let Shannon know or okay. somehow. Please do. Yeah. Please do. yeah, absolutely. We'd love to get you up here. Love to get you on the stage and uh, love to hear more from 615 Collective. Good luck to all of you, Sarah. Thank you, thank thank you. So, much. so much. Michael, you know, it's just so much talent that I'm looking at right now. Appreciate it all. Thanks for being on Skip Happens tonight. No, thanks, thanks for having so us. Much, yeah, Skip. Thanks, Skip.